Okay, happy Hanukkah. This is a little experiment to show how to properly uh, light the uh, uh, candle, I mean the f oil, wick on the oil, in order for it not to get extinguished, which many people have a problem with. So for, if you use oil, not the candles, uh, you have these small cups, very small ones, that you put them in a Hanukkah. And then, then it comes with a little wick that goes through the hole of a button-looking cork. I don't have it in front of me, but here's one. Let me open uh, this one here. Okay, you can see a button that here I just removed the uh, wick and then there's a like little insulation paper over the cork with a hole in the middle through which the wick is inserted and that's what they are floating there and as you can see uh, they tilt as one I just took over and it tilts and falls into the flame and burns and then extinguishes so if you take a larger cup with more oil that will keep the whole glass cooler. Otherwise, a small one gets very, very hot. And that's what causes the warpage of the cork floater. Once it warps, that's what makes it tilt. And it capsizes and takes oil. So the larger one, the one you use in shoe, for example, here. I'm using that, but without the larger. You can see I can hold it. My fingers don't get burned, but it's a little warm, but not as hot as the small one would be because a small amount of oil gets heated by the flame. Now normally this larger one, that design has like uh, a stem which goes into into the cup. I just poured it out and it gets inserted on the bottom of little like a little bearing so that wick which sits inside the stem. See if I can pull it out. I guess I can. But the wick sits inside there. I can pull it out. It's always steady. It never will flip over. And the, and the, and the flame will be here and oil below. So it will never flip. It's supported by the bottom bearing in a cup. <clears throat> but if you take a larger size vessel, like a glass or something here, I have four of them burning for experiment. And you fill it with mostly water and then a little bit of oil on top. It's all you need just to save oil. Then it's such a huge volume that it stays cold or cool. Because of that, um, it will not affect, it will not warm up the little metal um, insulation and core. It will not warp it and it will now, then it'll flip. So I can see they're floating nicely, nice and steady and and still burning. Now that crackling noise you can hear is because the oil is burning out. The layer gets thinner and thinner. It started with about maybe half an inch and now about maybe an eighth of an inch. So the candle, one of them, a couple of them already, the wick is sucking water and that water is now affecting the flame, kind of tries to extinguish it, but it's still steady. And I tried to experiment some wicks uh, longer on top and shorter into the oil, some other way around. If it's longer on top, the flame is bigger. If it's smaller on top, the flame is smaller. But then the wick goes with a shorter one deeper into the oil. So if you don't have enough oil, the water gets to it quicker and extinguish and uh, you know burn on just stop burning. With a longer uh, wick, nice flame. It will stay a little longer because the portion under the oil doesn't go quite as deep, therefore it doesn't get to the water as soon and it will stay lit. So, that's just a little uh, pointers. So I guess the answer is do not use such small cups with unsupported wicks, floaters in it, they get hot. Uh, if you use larger ones, use a bottom bearing in it, which over there, which supports the rod that 
holds a wick. Or use floater, small floater, but in a larger volume. That's a solution. Unless, of course, you use a candle, then the entire different story. But with an oil, it's kind of nicer, looks very pretty, and is now uh, pretty reliable. So it's 2014 Hanukkah. Uh, this is uh, eighth day, so the candles have already been extinguished from last night. They burned off, so this is just a trying of in non-holy way, if you will, just a little experimentation. Uh, not desecrating the Hanukkah because this is just it's after the fact. We're still on the eighth day, but the candles already down burning uh, last night. So we can do this. Uh, we can understand why uh, we can be more successful or less successful depending on design. All the, all the oil feeding the wick into the cork. All right, 2014 Hanukkah 57. I guess 74. Hanukkah Sameach. Have a good next time year and good luck.